we do not have the data. And by definition, because we're talking about an event that's ahead of us, so by definition, even if you have the best model in the world, we do not have the data. So we cannot come to a conclusion of capital shortfall is this or that. So what do we do? Do we decide to do nothing or do we decide to take a different approach? And we collectively as a system are faced with a paradox is that we're all used to quantifying first and deciding on the basis of the result of the quantification. But in this instance, we will not have the privilege of quantifying. And I hate to say that when we have the data, it will be too late. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and as we're talking insurance here, let me quote uh, Henri de Casse, who was the CEO of AXA, and who said famously in 2015 that he did not know how to insure a world at plus four degrees. Now, look at what the IPCC is telling us. The IPCC is telling us the world is on a path to plus four degrees at the end of the century. So I'm not getting into the climate change debate far beyond our discussion here. I'm talking about the link between financial stability and climate change. And if you link what Henri de Casse was saying to what the IPCC is writing, we're saying that we have a major financial stability issue a few dozens of years ahead of us. Because a, you know, if AXA has a problem, you know, all insurance companies have a problem, let's face it. And the other thing is, none of us know how to run an economy without insurance companies. So how do we deal with that? And the answer is, please address the risk, you know, using your judgment if you cannot quantify it.